Uh, Mike asks, what should I look for or avoid when buying my first soldering station? Been a ham for a few months, and I'm looking to try building some antennas. Um, well, if you're building antennas, get a big old 100 watt Weller soldering gun. You'll need yeah. that. But if you want a solder station for electronics, um, stick away, stay away from those sticks. You know the forty watt soldering irons, uh, mm -hmm. and get a good adjustable temperature. Um, Heiko is a good. Heikos one. are good. Yep. Heikos, I have a Heiko that I love. It's like I never was able to solder very good, and I got this thing, and like, oh my god, it's amazing. You know, for a hundred bucks, you can get a little uh, soldering station. The, yeah. the temperature and that's just the way to go um, i got a, I got the weller the um yeah. wes 50 you know i think this one i've had this one so long it was it was actually made in the usa yet so you said that, that one thing? so long it was from one of the original 15 colonies <laughs> not that old <laughs> yeah. uh, but Weller and Heiko are great models. Yeah. For 100, 120 bucks, uh, you can get a really good, um, a really good soldering iron. But if you're building antennas, you're gonna want the big power, um, 100, 140 watt Weller uh, soldering gun. Get one of those it guns. It takes mm -hmm. that much more heat to actually get those up the temp for the solder to solder to yeah. mount. So. And those guns are great for putting on PL two fifty nines and um, mm. things like that because they put out a, they put a lot of heat there and they're relatively inexpensive. And um, but before we go, uh, stick around for this because something is grinding your gears, Joe. Now, isn't you know what it? What really grinds my gears, Michael? <laughs> Ham radio outlets. Oh, <laughs> yeah, those guys. Aww. So I leave work today, and as I normally do, I call my wife. You know, tell her I'm on my way home. I survived another day. Mm -hmm. uh, don't cash in that life insurance policy just yet. <laughs> and she's on speakerphone with my daughter in the car. And my daughter goes, you got a package. <laughs> I got a package. Oh. It came from the antenna store. <laughs> it looks expensive. <laughs> oh. Oh. What so, did the pack <laughs> package have dollar right, signs on uh, it? <laughs> well, I mean, because, come on, guys. Come on. Look at this. Oh, look at all that advertising that HRO puts on the side of the boxes for Diamond, right? <laughs> I will pay you an extra five bucks if you can deliver it in a, a very discreet <laughs> Package HRO, <laughs> really? Like I'll pay you twenty dollars if my wife doesn't see it. Maybe they Maybe could I print adult diapers on it or something. <laughs> exactly. You know, I don't know. Put something on it like bills, or, or don't put junk. No, no, don't put bills. They might get thrown away too. Hey, don't put fancy antenna on here because then daughter goes, "Hey, I got the mail. Daddy got something." My wife goes, well, that looks very expensive. How much did you spend there? And I said, 30 bucks. Isn't that expensive? It was 30 bucks. Maybe 34 to shipping. 37.99. Okay, maybe 40. But still, not expensive. Not too bad. Don't jump down to me because HRO puts something on it that makes it look like it's expensive. And Ray, I'll pay you five bucks more if you put it in a discreet package. Or say, Put out a, a gift. You know what? Better, a yet, gift. better yet. Here we go. Michael, huge cross advertising here. <laughs> HRO. Just put out the package, a gift from KB9VBR. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Solution. <laughs> and with that, Andrea, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. 
Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.